As we all know, one in three judges in this country is currently working on a case related to Donald Trump. <laughs> but now, some of these cases are finally wrapping up. Today, Michael Cohen, Trump's former lawyer and melting Ray Donovan, was sentenced to three years in prison. And Michael Flynn, Trump's former national security advisor, made an interesting argument for why he shouldn't go to prison at all. Late last night, the lawyers for Michael Flynn, the president's first national security advisor, asked a federal judge to spare him prison time for lying to the FBI back in January of 2017. Flynn's defense team also suggested that the FBI may have duped him into lying when two agents failed to remind Flynn that misleading or lying to investigators is, in fact, a crime. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Michael Flynn says he didn't know lying to the FBI is a crime. <laughs> and you know what? I, I think going forward, everyone working for Trump should just be read their Miranda rights on their first day. <laughs> just be like, okay, here's your desk, uh, coffee in the kitchen, anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law, and uh, Fridays are jeans day. Have a good time. <laughs> the question I have is, though, can you, can you, like, really never lie to an FBI agent? Like, that, that's what I wondered when I heard this. Like, like never. Because what if you're friends with an FBI agent? I feel like that's a lot of pressure, you know? <laughs> Because you'll be like, hey, sorry, Jim, I can't make it to dinner tonight. You'd be like, why not? <laughs> because your wife is annoying as shit? Uh, <laughs> I wanted to lie, but I don't want to go to jail. <laughs> Moving on. The Trump administration has made so many changes to America over the last two years, right? They've made school lunches unhealthier. Uh, they've made air dirtier. They've made prisons whiter. And now, <laughs> they're making nuclear waste more approachable. The Trump administration is proposing to reclassify some radioactive waste to make disposal cheaper and easier. Reclassifying high-level radioactive waste could save the agency billions of dollars and decades of cleanup work. Some critics say that's because much of the waste could be left in the ground. Okay, cool. So they're gonna <laughs> loosen nuclear waste regulations. Yeah, that was, uh, the top of my list of things wrong with America. Yeah, not enough Godzillas running around. That's what I was thinking. Like, is it me or does it just seem like the Trump administration gets a lot of policy ideas from the first 10 minutes of disaster movies, right? <laughs> like, I wouldn't be surprised if next week Trump tells us that they're breeding super gorillas for Space Force. He's just like, they're smart folks, they're strong, <laughs> and they're gonna keep, we're gonna keep them in cages until they're very angry. What could go wrong? <laughs> so, yeah, uh, I, I don't know why they went with this plan. I mean, there's a good chance that Trump made this rule change just so that he can finally get a strong enough tanning bed. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> oh, moving on. Here's a headline for you. Porn star gets screwed. Adult film star Stormy Daniels today was ordered to pay President Trump nearly $293,000 for legal fees. This is related to her defamation suit against the president, which was tossed out in October. $293,000? How is a porn star gonna pay for that? They can't even afford to pay the pizza delivery guy. <laughs> that's, that's a lot of money. But you know what? Let's, let's, let's run those numbers... Let's run those numbers real quick and try and figure this out. So, <laughs> the way it works out here is Trump paid Stormy Daniels $130,000 to stay quiet about the alleged affair, minus the $293,000 she has to pay Trump. So, in total... Huh. Stormy Daniels paid $163,000 to have sex with Donald Trump. <laughs> Yeah, maybe he is the master deal maker after all, people. <laughs> maybe he is. That's a pretty sweet deal. In fact, in fact, this could be Trump's new plan to fund the border wall. He's just gonna go have sex with everyone in Mexico. He's like, send me down there, folks. I just need two Red Bulls and some Vaseline. We'll get that wall. We're gonna get it. Oh, and, uh, finally, finally in headlines, yesterday, Sundar Pichai, the CEO of Google went to Congress to answer questions from lawmakers about some of his company's practices, including whether or not the search engine is rigged. And some of the questions, they didn't seem too tough to answer. Right now, if you Google the word idiot <laughs> under images, a picture of Donald Trump <laughs> comes up. I just did that. How would that happen? How does su search work? so that that would occur. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Why does a picture of Trump come up when I search for idiot? Hmm. Hold on, let me see here. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Maybe because he 